Hey everybody, my name is Tom Tullis. This is the Tomb of 3D Printed Horrors. And today we're going to take a look at a quick and easy way to mask off sections of your 3D printed models when you want to apply spray primer or just paint them in general. Um, all of these types of products are known as uh, removable poster adhesives. And they're just basically uh, very rubbery, almost clay-like substance, uh, very tacky. And you can put a poster up on a wall and take it off and it won't peel your paint off. Um, my favorite of all the different brands in the market is this. This is Blue Tack, and the reason is, um, it's even though they're all reusable, this one really is a little bit more reusable than some of the others. And by that, I mean it retains uh, its uh, stickiness, its tackiness after multiple uses. Um, you really can use this again and again and again, and it works great. It's also so tacky that it prevents. Um, uh, bleed under when you paint this uh, you're not going to have paint seeping under the edges which is also nice so in this case today I'm going to demonstrate on one of Fat Dragon's new Dragon Lock torch walls this is the front piece that is painted or printed in uh, translucent orange PLA and we need to protect the flame area we're going to paint the brickwork but that flame needs to remain the translucent orange so I'm going to pull off a section of blue tack and this is just like modeling clay uh, it needs and pulls apart very easily. It's uh, tacky, but you want to get a piece out, thin it out, and just generally form it around whatever it is you're masking. In this case, it's the flame. Um, I'm not going to be super careful. I just want to make sure the flame gets covered. If it covers a little bit of the brickwork around it, I'm just going to touch that up with a paintbrush when I paint the bricks. Um, but just fold it all around. You want to make sure that everything is completely covered. Um, it is easy to get this too thin and maybe have a hole in it, but uh, that'll be real apparent if there is. Uh, in the case of these torch wall front sections, you also have to mask off the back. There's a small hole here for the LED bulb to show through. If you get primer or paint in that hole, it's going to ruin the flickering effect. So just make sure if this is the piece you're doing that you do mask that rear section off. Okay, once that's done, uh, it's time to apply primer. Uh, you can use a spray primer. Uh, for me, I'm going to airbrush. Um, normally, I use Stino Res by Badger. That's been my go-to primer for years. I absolutely love it. But uh, recently, I've been testing a brand new primer that is specially made for PLA and ABS. I can't tell you what it is yet, uh, but as soon as I can, I will post the link in this video description. Uh, I can tell you that this new primer is working fantastic, and I, it has replaced Steinores as my go-to primer for uh, 3D printed objects. Um, just going to use a Badger Patriot Aero airbrush here. This is a fantastic hobby brush. I've got a couple of these and a couple of their Extreme Patriot Aeros that are great for super fine detail work. And I'm just going to speed this up here, um, paint all of the uh, pieces with the primer. Once you're done and the primer has fully dried, you can pry off the blue tack. Uh, don't use a hobby knife that's going to scratch your plastic up. Just use a toothpick or your fingernail. Uh, either one. Uh, the blue tack generally pulls up as a single piece. If it doesn't, you can get small uh, remnants of it off just by rubbing the large piece you just took off. It's tacky and it'll help pull that up. Uh, or you can get in the small crevices with that toothpick. Once you're done, uh, to make it usable again, what you're going to want to do is start kneading it and pulling it apart. Just keep pulling it in halves, pushing it together, uh, and keep doing that until it looks that off-white color uh, like it did when it was new. And just do this a number of times, 8, 10, 12 times, and it should look pretty good. Um, once it's clean, you can store it back in the uh, two plastic sheets that it came with. Don't throw those out. Those help it keep it from drying out. Uh, but just put that back in the packaging and you're good to use it another day. So thank you for watching. Please click that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner.